Farmville 3. It's Farmville 3. Oh my goodness, I don't know how many of you ever played the original Farmville back in the Facebook olden days. I did. Well, I played somewhat. My mother played somewhat. But this is Farmville 3. And basically the only reason I actually wanted to play this is because it has penguins and turtles in it. Which is kind of strange if you think about it. Farmville, you'd imagine farm animals, but this game apparently has lots of exotic things. Uh, but we've got this lady, the main farm girl here, and apparently we get to choose what our, our farmhouse looks like, which I'm going to go with blue. The old barn seems to be in shambles as well. Yes, I am going to fix that bad boy up. And we have a blue shed. So yes, I'm definitely going blue. Exquisite, that's enough DIY. I see there are some sunflowers ready for harvesting. So of course the idea in Farmville is generally to harvest things, get new animals, and claim from them, as a farmer would do. Uh, but the addition of these random exotic animals and things like that, like penguins, I don't know if there's elephants, I think there's bears. Um, but howdy, Marie! Say, is this the old farm open for business again? <laughs> it sure is, and you're just in time for our first harvest. Ooh, he can be number number one. Well, blow me down. The folk in these parts are good for sure interested. Definitely. I'll be honest, I don't really care about the story too much. And the story just consists of plant things. This is the order board. You can select an order here. Deliver orders to earn coins. Collect enough and win animal boxes. Okay, we'll, we, we'll deliver this sunflower. And then apparently that means that we get a an animal delivered. Not sure why. Ha! Looks like the locals were impressed with your harvest. Look, they sent you a reward. How sweet. I wonder what's inside. Tap on the bubble to open up this box and we get a chicken. A very cute chicken. Oh my goodness, have you seen that eyeliner? Oh my god, she's so cute. Oh my god, look at those eyes going. She is such a babe, actually. Um, so that's a leghorn. New animals give experience. So we'll collect this and that puts us straight up to level 2 so that we can feel good about ourselves. Yes, I will take more of those absolutely babelicious chickens. I will. So get animals, level up. Win animals by doing deliveries. They give XP. Level up to expand the farm. Okay, every animal needs a home. First let's expand your farm. So we'll unlock that with some coins, tap the rundown bird home, we'll build it, and then our chicken has somewhere to live. Lovely. Bingo! Home sweet home. Let's tap on the chicken to produce an egg. Leghorn! We can help the chicken lay the egg a little sooner. Tap it. What? How? May I ask how? Like, how do we help it actually birth sooner or egg sooner you know that, that that don't like the sound of that farm girl tap on the order board there's an order like we did before deliver and once again that will deliver a new animal because i guess we have to get up to whatever that max is which was 10 for that one and we got another chicken another chicken so what we're gonna mate with we're going to mate them. I know I said, are we going to mate with them? And that would have been a very bad slip up. No, we are not going to mate with the chickens. The chickens are going to mate anyway. Yeah, there we go. They're in love. Love at first sight, it was. And then a stork comes and delivers the child. How new age. They didn't even touch each other. I don't even want to know what's going on. Oh my goodness, look at that baby. Hello. Hello, baby chicken. He's just staring at me. Am I supposed to touch him? But yeah, they've got some sleek eyeliner going on. I'm a fan of these chickens. Big fan. And what have we got next? Cows. They're probably going to teach us what to do about the cows now. I can see we've got gems, which is not a good sign. But we've got more of these orders, so I guess we'll do these orders and then maybe that will give us some cows. I don't know why there's this mini wait time. Is that just how long it takes the truck to come? I guess. 
Yeah, that pops us up to 10. And I'm assuming this is going to be a cow now. Mr. Cow? It is. It's a Holstein cow. He's got some interesting hair on the top of his head as well. Big udders. Big udders. Well, I guess this is just how things work. As in, if we want to get new animals, either we are going to be breeding them or we will get them through these boxes, I guess. I guess that's how it's going to work. And we also get coins for it as well. And he's going to give us some more XP that puts us up to level 4 already. Game, I'm going too quickly. Level 4 already? Let's expand more. Oh, I remember this. In the old old Facebook game ties with all the like area expansions that used to almost exclusively always cost gems. Maybe not in this one. Like brand new. I hate the fact that they've just put it right in the center of that field. Why? We're running low on feed. We should build a feed maker. Um. So I guess we will pop this as far to the left hand side as I can, which is there. Tap the feed maker. And then we can either make small feed or it looks like a box of feed. Your animals are going to need lots of food. True. Um, can my animals die if I don't feed them? I think that's an important question that I would like to know the answer to. It's obviously IRL if you don't feed your cows. They, they're just going to die, right? Don't know if Farmville 3 is that serious or not, but... You know, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying it's a possibility. And was this another cow? Indeed it is! Another cow-cow! And we also got some more coins. Ah ha ha ha! More XP? Goodness gracious me, we are gonna be level 5 soon. Boy oh boy, I am moving quick. Um, a new field? Oh hell yes! First rule of these sorts of games is always pop down as many fields as you can when it comes to farming. Always. If you don't, you're gonna be behind. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Then I can see that these look like they've been finished. Can I collect these? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, wait, I missed one. The fact that I have to manually pull over the rake or the hoe is very annoying. I've only done it once and I'm already annoyed. And it looks like the cows are also gonna have a baby. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, that's a new one. That's a new cow. That cow's brown. How did we how did we breed a brown cow from the white ones? I don't know. It also looks like we've unlocked Chad, which I've been waiting for. You can now, now unlock your first farmhand. Far, farmhands help you expand and improve your farm and can do all sorts of tasks. Oh, Chad. I was, I was notified of you in the uh, teaser trailer. And I've wanted you for like a week. There he is. There is Chad Wood. Apparently he's doing a dance for us. My friends call me Chad. I'm trying to bring lumberjacks into the 21st century. How do I look? You look snazzy, Chad. Very snazzy. We have our work cut out for us making room on your farm. Let's hustle up and start with one of the trees blocking your way. Uh, so we're going to have to clear out all of these as well, aren't we? Clearing trees and weeds costs energy. Energy regenerates over time. You also receive full energy on level up. Oh. Oh my god, I'm going to get so angry if I ever don't use all of my energy when I get a level up. This is something that you can use in a lot of games to basically speed through sections. I don't know if you can do it in this game, but especially early on with how quickly you tend to level up, using all of your energy like immediately and then getting the level up is normally quite important. It looks like next level we're going to get Katie, who looks like some sort of cooker. And we have the merchant is now available. He has valuable items. Let's see what he has today. The deals tab has a variety of animals and resources. The crops and goods offers lots of crops and goods, as the name would suggest. And the merchant has a daily free offer. Let's collect it. A free gem. Oh, I feel so, uh, so privileged. Keep delivering orders, blah, blah, blah. 
let's do some more orders so that we can get some more cows, some more chickens. Oh, I just don't know why there's this arbitrary annoying wait timer. Although I can't do this one, can I? Because I don't have whatever that is. As you can see, there is a quest for you to complete. Is there? Oh yeah, looks like it. The old windmill on the farm's been run down forever. Now's a good time as any to fix it up. We could mill all sorts of grains in it. It's going to be a fun restoration project. Let's do this. So we need to unlock the old mill, restore the mill, and make some flour. Okay. I guess we can do that at some stage. Oh, we've got a notification. Ah, a free gem for collecting our first cow. Oh, how cute. And it looks like we've got some Welsh Blacks, Highland cows. We have some epic cows. Damn, that is an epic cow, dude. Welcome. Um, here's a welcoming gift for you. We wish you all the fun, the Farmville 3 team. What, what is actually in this? Every farm needs an amazing name. Let's give yours now. Tap the edit button. My farm. No, 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 no. Whenever I have the option, I will not call it a farm. I'm going to call it an abode. A an abode. And I'm going to select it to the pogging chicken. You seen that? Pog Pogger's chicken? Why would I not use the pogging chicken? Um, so yeah, I'm going to put some feed in there. Keep delivering orders. No, I am not going to buy your starter offer. Get out of my face. And it looks like if we sign into Facebook, we can get some gems. And it looks like these are other people. I guess new people. But that person's got a duck profile pic. I want a duck. Uh, do we need to build another one of these? I don't know, actually. But I guess we should use the rest of our energy just in case something gives us lots of XP and we suddenly magically go up to level 6 immediately and then I get angry because I didn't use my energy. Ah, <sighs> I'm, I'm going to be forever panicking about that. Wait, I got a ruby? What's a ruby do? Game, where's the ruby tutorial? I don't know what the ruby's for. Oh, well, let's pop this order through as well and see what gets delivered. Any new animals or is it just going to be cows and, um, I almost said pigs, chickens for now. But yeah, I can't put down any more fields, which sucks. And it looks like we can decorate however we want, but we've got to unlock everything. Oh, is that, is that something that was given? Um, we've got a barrel something. Guess I'll pop that there. And there was a pig topiary. Can I not put you down? I can't put you down there, seemingly. Um, I guess just next to the barrel. I don't. I don't think. I don't know if that pig topiary actually does anything or not, but it's there now. Uh. So it looks like we're still a little bit of a ways away from unlocking the baker lady. Also, do I not get XP for, like, clearing out things? That's weird. Feels like a lot of things that you actually do in-game don't give you any XP. It's mainly, like, animals that give you XP, which I'm finding a little bit strange. Um, I can move this, luckily, so I am going to pop it as close to the front as I can. I'm also going to rotate it. Yes, re-enter your habitats, cows. It looks like I'm out of feed. And it looks like the baby's going to take four hours to grow up. But this mill is now done. And didn't we have a quest for the mill? We did. And now I need to make some flour. How do I do that? Oh, is this it? Yeah, I guess that's it. So we're going to have to wait three minutes. I have to wait three minutes. Jeeks. I can't believe I've got to wait so long already, game. Three minutes to wait. Do you think I'm made of time? Uh, what do we got for orders? Yeah, I'll pop another one of those in. And my, my chicken is homeless. I cannot believe he's homeless. Come on, we got to put down somewhere for my chicken. I wonder if they just stick around. If you just don't have a location for them. 
Yeah, I guess I'll pop it there for now, and then we can clear out some of the surrounding areas so that we can have more, um... I keep calling it habitat space. They're not habitats. I guess technically... I guess in a way they're habitats. Oh no, I've screwed this up. I wanted to collect. There we go. Um, and I guess we will pop some soybeans in. I don't know what soybeans are for, but I'll pop some soybeans in. And we can't change the sign yet. Yeah, my, my baby chicken. My baby chicken. He is so homeless. Oh, 25 seconds. This is the problem with these waiting games. It's like, when you make the timer short, but not immediate, it, it just gets very annoying. <laughs> uh, but we did this milk, windmill quest stuff. We got some energy. We got some gold coinage. We got another chicken. Oh god, I'm already miss like don't have enough space. I've got another chicken now. You know what they say? You shouldn't take on more animals than you can afford to take care of. Oh damn, I just got some more energy, didn't I? No. No. You can now join a co-op to play with other farmers. Wait, ha hang on. Is this actual co-op? Playing with others is so much more fun, right? Uh, real co-opsies? Join co-op, chat with others, win amazing rewards. How do we win rewards? Um, looks like a lot of these are foreign speaking to me, as in because I only speak English. Turkish. Um, I could create a co-op, but I bet this is going to cost gems or something, isn't it? But look, we've got lots of different shapes and patterns, so I could like select a chicken, make it blue... Um, change the shape, set, set the chicken in front of the fire, and I could give it a name. Um, Quackalax hang out. I, uh, I didn't mean to, whatever, that's fine. And you can change the co-op type, the suggested level, you can change the tag, so we could have, like, friendly, fun, pet lovers, uh... Chill. But it would cost 70 gems. And I don't really want to waste my gems, so I'm not going to do it. I pretended that I made one. It's getting crowded here. Let's see how we can help a baby grow up faster. Can't wait to see how this cutie looks once it grows up. Let's tap. And then apparently we use our energy to make the chicken grow up. Again, I don't know what she's actually... Oh my god, she's injecting it with some sort of weird fluid? What the heck is going on? This is some freaky, freaky stuff going on. I'm not a fan of that. Oh, we got golden chicken. Golden boys. And then there's these dollar icons. Some of your animals have become elder now that their babies are all grown up. Elder animals don't produce items anymore. I wonder what we should do. Hi there, Marie. It's me, Harmony. I'm running an elder animal sanctuary and would be happy to buy my elders. Lovely. Of course, they'll have plenty of friends. Hold on a second. I'm heading there right now. I'll wait and pick up the animals that are heading my way. So what? As soon as they give birth, they're just useless? Is, is that how adults work as well? They just give birth and then that's it? Life over? I guess, oh my god, there's a Saxony duck. Oh, MG, a Saxony duck. I could buy it, but I don't know if that's a good use of my gems, but oh, MG, a Saxony duck. As I say, this weird hula girl. Hello, Marie, I heard you needed a baker. Katie, I'm so glad you're here. Adding a bakery to the farm will really sweeten things up. So it looks like we need to unlock her, restore the bakery, but who is this hula girl? Well, hello there. I'm Safina, and might I say, what a lovely farm you have. I'm in need of some ingredients. Would you be a dear? Um, so she gives me a picture of our farm lady? What? Why did she give me a picture of our farm lady? This is getting weird. So I could unlock her right now. I'm quickly just going to check everything else that I've got on the farm at the moment. Um, bakery, we can construct it. My green beans aren't going to be done for a while. Um, I've just sold that chicken, so I guess that's going to Harmony. 
And then these boys, we can feed them. Feed them, make them happy boys. Uh, but I am running out of feed. I don't think I've got any feed for the cows. And I don't have any wheat. So we need more wheat. Looks like the bakery's done. That gives us some more XP. And Chad is looking strangely at that chicken. We could use the resources from this one. What's going on, Chad? All right, we can collect some extra gemmers. A new field! Do we unlock new fields for unlocking more animals? That seems to be what's happening to me. That's what I'm gathering. I don't know if that's accurate or not. But yes, I'm going to pop a field here. And then we can pop some wheat in there because we need some wheat. Oh, stop tempting me with the Saxony duck bundle. Stop it. I don't know if I should buy it with my gems. Don't, don't test me, game. It's like, until you actually understand how to use your gems properly in these games, I think it's a good idea to hold off on spending them. Um, although sometimes you may end up missing out on some, like, fast track stuff. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to chill with my gems a little bit. And have a look then. Deliver orders and get more animals. Deliver. So that should give us a new animal again. Delivery, delivery man. What is my new animal? We got some flour. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use my energy quick before I make another terrible mistake and don't use my extra energy. And plus, this gives us some resources when we clear out these things as well. It's not a bad idea. Um, I can't afford that one. Another cow! And some... some coin. And some fence. We're gonna be level 7 soon. I can smell it. Sunflower oil. But it looks like our cow is also homeless. Rest in peace, brother. I hope it doesn't get too cold out there at night. But what can we get from these boxes? We can get an animal and just coins and decorations, I guess. Doesn't seem like very much. But yeah, we're gonna have to collect some more stuff. And yes, I know he's homeless, don't say it. I could build another one, although this is a lot of coins. I guess I'll do it. I guess I'll do it. Two of each, so it should be fine, right? Then we collect all of these extra resources. And... I predict we're probably going to get hindered by the timers pretty soon. But level 7, we've unlocked a dog. We've unlocked a dog, some carrots, and some soy sauce. Soy sauce? Why? Why do we need soy sauce? Very weird. Unlock buddy to start the digging action, I'm guessing. So the, the dog digs... Chad cuts, and the farm lady pulls out the weeds. And we've also got ad stuff that we can watch, which is cringe. An old silo? I guess we'll unlock this. Silo seems pretty important for a farm. I don't know what stickers are. Okay, we need some more wood. So we'll go and cut down some trees. Um, I don't have any food anymore for the cows. I know, I know, why did I put so many beans in? Oh no! Why did I put so many beans in? Oh, actually, I need beans for the big feed. Oh, that's actually useful. I don't have anything. I've actually run out of everything. My usage is faster than my means of production right now. 